Congress to give up their salaries during the government shutdown to stand with workers who aren't being paid. Next time we have a gov shutdown, congressional salaries should be furloughed as well, she wrote on Twitter on Saturday. It's completely unacceptable that members of Congress can force a government shutdown on partisan lines then have congressional salaries exempt from that decision. Have some integrity. The legislative branch was fully funded for fiscal year 2019 in budget negotiations earlier this year, meaning members of Congress and staff on Capitol Hill will be paid while other parts of the government are shut down. As of Friday midnight, 420,000 federal employees will have to work without pay over the holidays and an additional 380,000 workers will be furloughed. The shutdown will affect nine government departments including the Departments of Agriculture, Commerce, Homeland Security, Housing and Urban Development, Interior, Justice, State, Transportation and Treasury. NASA and state parks will also lose their funding. Several lawmakers both Democrats and Republicans have tweeted their intentions to not take a salary during the shutdown. Democratic Senator Catherine Cortez Masto of Nevada said she would not take a salary but would donate the money to charity instead. I cannot take a salary during a government shutdown knowing that so many federal workers in Nevada and across the country will go without pay. I'll be donating my salary to a Nevada charity for every day of the Trump shutdown, she wrote. Republican Representative Elise Stefanik of New York requested her salary be withheld during the shutdown in a letter to Congress administration officials. I submitted a letter today requesting that my pay be withheld during this partial government shutdown, she wrote, tweeting a copy of her letter to Chief Administration Officer of the House Philip Kiko. Republican Representative Susan Brooks of Indiana also tweeted a copy of her letter to Kiko, requesting her pay be withheld while the government is shut down. Lawmakers have a few different options when it comes to not getting paid. They can write a letter to Kiko, whose agency handles payroll, to request their salary be withheld or they can write a check to the U.S. Treasury with the amount of their salary they are returning. Republican Rep. Dave Joyce of Ohio said that if Congress can't keep the government fully operational, we shouldn't get paid. And Republican Rep. French Hill of Arkansas wrote I cannot in good conscience accept pay while federal employees are not receiving theirs. Most members of Congress make $174,000 per year. Federal workers will be paid for the pay period ending December 22nd. The White House Office of Management and Budget has said. But if the shutdown extends past January 5th, they will miss their next paycheck. On Sunday, incoming White House Chief of Staff Mick Mulvaney warned the government shutdown could last well into the new year. It's very possible that this shutdown will go beyond the 28th and into the new Congress, Mulvaney said on Fox News Sunday. With Christmas on the horizon, Congress has adjourned until Thursday, December 27. And lawmakers are expected to return to work late next week. The new Congress is sworn into office on January 3. This is the third government shutdown for the Trump administration. On January 20 of this year a shutdown ensued after Republicans